Hello, I'm um, going to do a video today on custom commands and adding them to your AutoCAD uh, interface. So you're using a custom user interface to get your commands up on there, on, up onto your tabs on the top here and create new panels and stuff like that. So it's kind of AutoCAD related, uh, but they're advanced steel commands, I guess, through AutoCAD. So it's a bit of both. Uh, I also have some here. I'm going to do this in a separate video. Uh, I'll delete these and add new ones. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start up here. You can see I've created my own. Now, it just uh, as a reference, I, I've just literally tried to do this video, but I realized that it stopped in the middle, so I'm doing it again. So I've I've got these commands from this uh, advanced steel forum, uh, advanced steel custom commands. Share your ideas. This was started by uh, this gentleman here, Elko. I hope I'm pronouncing his name correct. Uh, he's been very helpful to me. And starting this post was great. As you can see, there's a lot of people who've uh, who've contributed. Uh, it's 330 replies now at the minute. And almost 3,000 views. It's really great. So check it out. I'll add the link uh, below the video. But you could just Google Advanced Steel Custom Commands and it'll come up. So... Uh, Everything I'm using, I've got from this, and then I did a couple of videos on YouTube for uh, using custom user interface and uh, AutoCAD. So that's where I'm coming from. So look, uh, I'm no expert. I'm doing this as I set it up. So I'm hoping it'll help people who are kind of at the same level as me. So I'll continue anyway. So to get into your custom user interface, just do CUI for custom user interface so what we're going to do is i've created this modeling tab already so um this i've created these documents here with custom commands that i've saved from that forum post and i've also got this document which was created by another gentleman uh his name eludes me at the minute but it's in the forum post if anyone else wants this they can download it from there He's also created links to any of the helpful videos, and he also has links to other uh, stuff here at the bottom that's related to that forum post. So, some of my commands I've gotten from here, he and I've got the rest from the post like he has. So, we go in here. What we want to do first is we'll create another tab here. There's one for modeling, and I'll create another one for visibility right now. So I'm going to go to Ribbons, Tabs. So the tab is up here at the top. These are the tabs. So I don't want to create a tab. I've already created the tab. So my tab, I've created already. I've created this test one for the last video I did. So I'll do the same thing again. And I'll create another one just so you know how to create it. So I'll go to Tabs, New Tab. So I'm going to create a new tab. And I'll call it test test tab instead of test ribbon because it is a tab <laughs> I don't know why I call it ribbon last time I get confused so test tab so I've created that so now the problem is it's just a tab it's not in here anywhere so I need to add this to hold on All right, let's see, it's coming in. It seems to be coming in below this one, but it's not. It, it's it's just it's just right here. So what we're going to do is scroll up to the top. Scroll up to the top. Click on your advanced steel default. This is your workspace. So customize your workspace and go to these. So you can see it's not there. Um, the test ribbon is there. So what I'm going to do is you want to come back over here, open your ribbons, and you can see all the tabs that are active. See, I can add any of these tabs right now, but I don't want any of these. I've already turned off some of them. So what I'll do is I'll turn off that test ribbon. So it's gone from here. 
And now I'm going to go down and I'll turn on the test tab so you can see it's here. And I can drag this up here next. So this is the order they're going to go in. So I can do apply and OK. So this one should be replaced with the other one. Yeah, so test tab. So what I'm going to do now is um, I'm not sure I want this model checking because, I mean, we have this here. So I'm going to open this up and edit this a little bit. Um, so it'll give me a little more room. I have a lot of real estate here anyway, so uh, I'm not really looking for more room. But So let's do custom user interface. So what I want to do is a panel. So I want a new panel. So my new panel is going to be called Visibility. Uh, sorry, I was thinking there. It's okay, I know how to spell Visibility, lucky enough. I think I have it right anyway. <laughs> uh, so the way it works is this is a row. So on, directly under this is a row 1. So this is row 1. If I added another row from the visibility tab, it's down here. It's like a drop down. So I don't want that. I'm just going to have a panel. So this is a panel. So I have one row. If you see here in the model of one, there's row one, which is here. So if I open that, there's a sub panel. This is the sub panel. And then inside the sub panel, there's three rows. You can see save and close is row one. Row two is grids off. And row three is trim and extend the system. And so, sorry, I don't know if you can hear that. It's my dog coughing in the background. He's kind of old. Um, so, I'll just continue. Hopefully, you won't, you won't be able to hear it. So, row one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a second row here. So I'm going to do a new row. And then there's a row 2. You know what, I did that wrong, sorry. That new row now will be down here below. So I'm going to delete that. I don't want that. I want to do another sub-panel. So I do another sub-panel. And inside that sub panel, I want a new row and another new row, so I want three new rows. <laughs> so, in the, when I just tried to record this video a minute ago, I already added custom commands from the lists that I have here. So I was just copying them. Now, I'll still do some more, but for now, not this list. Uh, where's the other one I have? This one. This one here is the order. I, I kind of put them in some kind of order previously. So I had added these six commands. So what I'll do is I'll just show you guys how to get the commands up to here first. And then I'll show you how I'm kind of doing it backwards. And then I'll show you how to create um, how to create the commands. So let me go in here. So first of all I I, I just take account of what order I want these in so my row here is going to correspond to this document so I'm going to do well continuous corner cut and beveling so we'll do well continuous like I said I've literally just created these not so long ago so well continuous I'm going to drag that up into Sub panel two, sorry, sub panel two, row one, weld continuous, and then it was corner cut, corner cut continuous, and I'm going to drag that into the second one, and then I did beveling HSS. So this will do a continuous bevel on the HSS, and I'll drag that into the next panel. All right, so that's what they're going to look like next. They're going to be next to these. So what I want to do is I want this small width text, and here it is. And I want this one small width text. So what I like is when I, if I add a command at the start, I'm going to have the writing there so I know what it is. And then later I'll go back 
once I get familiar with it and it becomes second nature, then you can take away the writing. So, so as you can see, if we go in here, you can add separators as well if you want. If you just do add separator, and uh, we'll go. Uh, let me go down to this one. Small with text. All right, so we'll apply. Okay. Now, so it should have added. Yeah. So we see we've added these. All right. So, so let's go back in and we're gonna let's go to the visibility tab. So in the visibility tab, I had added. So let's go ribbon menu. menu and I've had visibility one here it's got one row so this is the row so I want to add a panel so new sub panel I'm not sure these other ones I'm gonna add a new drop down folder I'm keeping it simple so inside the sub panel then I want a new row and a new row and I've already also created these commands which are these ones here Hide grids, hide grading, hide bolts. So I call them grids off, grading off, bolts off. So grids off. So grids off. Let's see. Bar grading. Right, so let's see. Hide. No, it should be under grids off. Sorry, I was trying to find the command. Grids off, there it is. Sorry about that. And I'm going to drag that up into the top one. Grids off. The second one, I would want grading off. So I have a grading off. Uh, grading off is there. Now, as I say, I've literally just created these commands. After I do these ones, I'll create a couple more so you can see. And then I have a bolts off. Um, bolts off. I also have a bolts on. So, you need to click on each of these if you want the text. You can make these large as well, but they take up the whole, they take up too much real estate. I like the small with text myself as my preference. Uh, everyone's going to be different. Uh, small with text. And bolts off. Small with text. There you go. Apply. OK. And that'll... Now, if I go in here, you go, oh, wow. Oops, I don't have any visibility. Why do I not have any visibility? Mm. So you go back in. I got stuck like this a couple of times. It takes a while to get used to. So go back into your ribbon and go to your panels. Scroll down your panels. And copy your visibility tab. And then go up top. And you want to go into your tabs. Um, there's quite a bit of scrolling up and down and looking around. And it's not super simple to see everything. So I'm looking for the one I've created, which is advanced detailing and modeling. Uh, hold on, I've gone down too far. Sorry, that's my fault. Um, advanced detailing and modeling, there it is. Um, I want to go in here and you can see, oh, I never put the visibility tab in there. so. That's why it's not showing up. So I want to paste it. So the visibility tabs in there. Apply. OK. And it should pop up here. There it is. Visibility. Right. So. Now what I'll do is. Let's. Let's see if we can find a couple more we can do. If we want to do. Hide grading, let's see. So I want, I want to create a couple of commands. So what I'll do is let me go back here 
and with your height grids, height plates, height welds. These ones are pretty good. So let's, why don't we do some of these ones? So I'll do the height welds, height plates, height beams. All right, so let me copy this. We'll do height welds, copy this command and go back into your custom user interface and we want a new command and i'll do welds off oh apologies i have to rename it i have to find that new command so it goes in right as command so command one I'll rename it welds off I want to go back out there and I have to go back and find it now that I filtered so while it's off there it is and paste your command in here if you want to see the whole command click on that end part you want to add an image for that so click on now this image will be used as an image used for small image and large image for when you make it a small icon or a large icon so add I generally just add the same one twice so I'm going to go icons and there's welds off let's see it's going to be at the end if it's a W there it is welds off add the same one add the same one for the large and the small welds off now I'll rearrange these a little bit different probably later on but that's your command your commands ready apply so click on your command uh, go back up here to your panels I want to find my visibility panel so I have row one so I want to add another row so no I don't not, I don't want to add another row I want to add another panel so I'll just copy this panel so uh, or I'll create a new sub panel sorry new sub panel and uh, yeah sorry this door is open and closing here as I'm working from home <laughs> I'm getting a little distracted new row new row and then I'm going to get the welds off and I'm going to put the welds off into the top one there so welds off um, I don't know if I should put welds on below that uh, I also have a bolts off which I should put in there somewhere so let me see if I do the bolts bolts off and bolts on so I'll do the bolts on and I'll put it in here and let me get the welds off um, yeah if I do the welds off uh, hide welds welds on welds off I just do full visibility all right so you know what let's just we won't get too distracted so go back in here and I'll do with text and then click on the next one and with text so this one is going to move up in here because I didn't put one in the middle but I will put one in the middle eventually so for now it's going to look like this over here so let's apply and okay and I guess we should test one or two of them and just see. We don't want to waste too much time, but let's go in here and uh, let's do bolts off. All the bolts are off. Bolts on. All the bolts are on. You can see how easy that is, how quick that is. And if I do, if I turn everything on, let's say I turn everything on, I'll do a couple of the easier commands. You can do grids off and I'll turn the grids off. Uh, I don't have any grading, so I can't do grading off. Um, I want to create one more command actually for here. Um, I, I, I have to. I think I believe I have it created that I did create in my last attempt to create this video. Um, so I want to remove the one that's there because I have it over here. Obviously, grids off and the save and close is one I use all the time. 
trim and extend system line I use all the time. And another favorite of mine is is the radius, fill it with radius zero so I can join two lines together when I'm modeling like stairs or, or something like that. So I'm going to go into row one and that's row two. Grids off, that's the one I want to delete. So I want to remove that. So yes, I do want to remove that. So now I want to do fill it radius zero, which is one I've created, which has not been saved. So let me create it. So that's fine. I'll do new command, rename, uh, fill it radius zero. Sorry, smiley face. So fill it radius zero is there. So let me go back to my document, go up to the top. That's the command. Copy the command, close that down, paste, fill it radius zero. I want to get the image for that. Uh, let's see if I can remember where I put the image for that. It wasn't in the same icons. Um, I have an icon for that somewhere. It's just two lines buttoned together. It's actually a nice icon. So these are all icons I've I've got. Uh, fill that radius zero. I don't know. I guess I'll have to find it. So what I'll do for now is I'll show you. I'll go. All right. Well, I don't have an image, so let me see if I go up here and I'll see what I got up here. So there should be a fillet one up here somewhere. Just with two lines meeting on a corner. Uh, uh, it's a little, takes a little bit of time to find them sometimes. I'm not seeing it right now. So what you can do is you can, you know what? You can even create your own one. So what I would need, uh, you need a starter one. So pick a starter one. Uh, I'm trying to find something that looks like the fillet one. Maybe it's near the start. Uh, let's pick something like this. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna edit this. And I'm gonna use this for both the small and the large image. So let's edit this. So um, I'm going to make this gray. I really want to make it dark like the rest. So basically you can color it in like this if you want. So what I'll do is I'll just give this a quick border and fill this in this is just obviously i mean this is going to be butchered but it'll give you an idea how you can how you can work with this so um so i'll draw two lines here um getting a little bogged down with this but what I'll do is I'll just do a red line so you can do a red line here and I'll do a red line here and then I'll do a white line here to show where the fillet meets in the corner uh, let me go again there so look it's obviously not fantastic <laughs> um, it's not my best artwork but it'll do so I'm just trying to get this edge. It's not going to let me do the edge. So that'll do. I can save that. So I'll save it as fill it radius zero. Radius zero. So fill it radius zero. Okay. And I can export that if I want. 
so you can bring it in somewhere else so documents if i just export that this is just my base file i'll just call it 11 for now so you can export it and then close so there it is there so fill it ready here you know what it doesn't look so bad i guess so there it is it's in for both small so fill it radius so i wanted to put that sorry i got a little bog down there i want to put that in this second row here which we'll put it in here where this was so fill it radius zero and drag it in here so uh what i want to do now is got to go back here and do with text and you can see it pops up here apply okay and it should pop in here and there it is so now i'm kind of set up now i would go the whole way across i might create another folder in here for uh, my 2d drawings so let's say we'll go back in here just to show you quickly again for the second time i can do a ribbon a tab so i want to create another tab I do no I want to create another panel sorry so I want to create a new panel and a new panel I'm going to call drawings now I'm kind of following suit off this other document as he's created his this is the way he has his set system set up so I'll just do it similar to his um, uh, rows I want to add uh, another sub panel and i want to add another sub panel so all right so drawings is there now i haven't put this in my folder yet so i need to copy this copy i need to scroll back up to the tabs and there's my tab there and i want to paste it in there so there it is drawings so apply okay and that should add another one over here drawings now you can do drop downs there's a drop down here but i don't have any icon in it so what you can do just to show you um uh, just to show you quickly if i go back ribbon panels scroll down do, 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 drawings uh modeling so this is the dialogue launcher which which is i believe no panel like that i'm trying to figure out where the drop down is uh it's one of these would it be the slide out or is it this i'm guessing it's this right key tip so let's see if i if i just pick one of these commands and if I drag it in here into into the modeling tab, into the panel launcher, does it go in there somewhere? No, I don't think so. So maybe if I drag it in here, let's see what happens if I drag it into the slide out menu. It's not letting me. Hmm, interesting remove command so i guess that's a command i have in there so let's apply this so obviously i've got some tinkering around to do to learn how to fully use this but i have it good enough where i i'm able to at least add all these icons so i hope that's of help to somebody out there um you can also add them down here uh if you right click up here or sorry right click on one of these icons you can add a command here i'll do this in a different video because it's probably going to be 20 minutes or a half hour as well so here's your picture all the same thing so you just have them over here instead you can add a couple of more tabs click on the top and close it down right click here and then you can add another one here so i won't get into that right now and um, i just wanted to get this set up so I'm going to put all my commands across here. I have loads of room to put them all in. And uh, I hope this was helpful. Sorry if I was a bit distracted in the middle. Uh, 
I'll see how this video is. I'll post it and maybe I'll update it in a couple of weeks when I, I learn how to do things a little bit better. Um, I hope it's helpful. Please give me your feedback. Please subscribe. Tell me if you need a video on something related to advanced steel. Hopefully I can help. Maybe you can help me if you have any suggestions what I'm doing wrong or maybe there's a better way I do it. Um, if people subscribe, I'll know that people are interested in what I'm sharing and uh, maybe I'll be able to create some more content. Uh, all right. Have a good day and thank you for tuning in. Bye-bye.